Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time we basically made our way through Coffee World, uh, getting the key to the cabin and made a small detour to uh, the lighthouse and uh, doing one of those rhyming puzzles on the way and got attacked quite a bit. Um, and now we are actually going to make our way to the lighthouse, not the lighthouse, the trailer park proper. I hope I'm still not being chased by those guys. We should be okay. I wouldn't mind fighting them, but I do not have an infinite supply of ammo. Speaking of which, we'll switch to the gun. Alright, so it looks like... It's a trailer park area. Mayor Setter is not afraid of the rough questions. Mayor Setter is not afraid of the rough questions. Who is leaving these little kiosks, for lack of a better term? Um, like, who's putting them up and then just leaving them? A shoebox. Don't touch. Anderson Brothers. Must not drink the water or take a bath ever again. Moonshine. Only drink the moonshine, brother. <laughs> Don't look like cultists. These guys are far from cultists. Come on. For the Anderson trailer? Mm -hmm. What? Sweetie pie, right on time! Like we were just saying, it's not true. The lies to hurt you and make you weak. Don't believe a word. They believe because deep down, they want to be told what to think. We're different. Rebels! You must stop it before it turns real. Don't be part of the story. Make the story. <laughs> stop the hell of it! <laughs> These old drunks don't seem affected by the horror story like the other locals are. Do they know what's happening here? How do you know about the story? Same as you, of course, sweetie pie. We are family. The Andersons. Vikings. Gods. So good to finally see you, Saga. I am your great uncle Odin. And this is your long lost Murfad. Sarasoka. He is your grandfather, and I am the old father. <laughs> Just as crazy as everyone else. You know, I up until like Just as caught in it. I need to stay focused. I need to check out the trailer. Up until I saw them and said, like, the Anderson brothers, it didn't click in my head 
that it's Saga Anderson. And I'm like, are they going to be related? That's that's so wild. You have things to do, sweetie pie. We don't want to keep you from your business. You can come see us anytime at our resting place, Valhalla Nursing Home. Your name is Anderson? Your name is Anderson? Same as you, kiddo. Tor Anderson, Odin Anderson, you old guards of Asgard. That's our band. You're... You are Saga Anderson, goddammit. A Viking goddess. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Tor, Odin, Saga. All Norse inspired. Plus the same last name. A coincidence? Did the horror story change their names to match mine? I'm actually... I know very little about, like, Viking lore. Um, as cool as, like, Viking lore is. Like, um, you want drama? Like... For those of you that know about like Egyptian uh, mythology and like uh, Greek mythology and all that, Viking mythology is crazy. It is really fucking crazy. Um, I know that much. I don't know if there's actually any someone in the Viking mythology who's named Saga. I actually have no idea. Um, and I guess it would be Thor's grandchild. I have, I have no clue. Again, it's it's wild that the, these guys might be related. Um, about the cult of the tree. Have you seen any strange people in deer masks? I haven't drunk enough for that yet. You can <laughs> see all sorts of wonderful things when you make your way down the bottle. Even more so with just one eye. Okay, never mind. You've been drinking, I see. It looks like you two have had a bit too much fun. She sees right through us, bro. She has the power. This <laughs> calls for a fucking celebration. Our little saga all grown up and finally home. Sure, we've had a few sips. Just a taste. The famous Anderson moonshine. Oh, the nectar of the gods. You want some? No, thanks. And you know where the trailer is. So, do you know where the Anderson trailer is? Right behind us. We've been looking after it since you left. Uh-huh. Thanks for your help. Anytime, kiddo. Hey, be respectful of your grandfather. Uh, let's take a quick look around. Do you think we missed Audie's show? Who cares? <gasps> Blasphemers. Tango shit is bad for your head, bro. Too much truth in it. Drags me down. Hero's tango is uplifting. Music for the soul. Mm. I caught Ati's show, and he was amazing. Oh, fucking hell. What time is it? Gotta head back to the bus soon, brother. The rust kid is itching to leave us behind every chance he gets. Ah, we got time. Blum wants to stay on our good side. Okay, so it looks like there's... Got to be a lunchbox around here. No, he doesn't. 
Maybe he changed it already. Ooh, they got the Foods brand beans. Hearty sweet corn. Very nice. No saga. Pilfering does not become you. You're back with Pat Maine, and we've got a very special guest today on the program. It's artisan cuckoo clock designer Terry Feldman. Terry, how are we today? Hey there, Pat. Doing just fine. I'm a super big fan of the show. What a treat to be on with you today. Oh, the pleasure's all mine, Terry. <laughs> Now, I hear you're doing something special for Deerfest. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm crafting a selection of custom basewood cuckoo clocks, but the real special sauce is when it's cuckoo time and you're expecting a bird to pop out for a chirp. <laughs> out comes a big old deer. Well, that's just neat. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. Real neat. That's gonna have the tourists tickled pink. And I hear you're selling these at the Sunday market. So make sure to say hello to Wendy Davis from our sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky, while you're there, all right? Terry, you, you, you still there? Yeah, yeah, still here. I'm just... Geez, Drunk. Pat, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this. I, I, I thought you heard Wendy's dead. Oh, boy. That's, that's a strange joke you're playing there, Terry. No, it's... I, I, I'm sorry, Pat. You, you know all that FBI business. Wendy was one of those bodies they found. Well, that's just not possible, Terry. Wendy stopped by this morning with three flavors of beef jerky. She brought me the, uh, the, the smoked hickory and the teriyaki and, and then what was that other one? I'm, I'm real sorry, Pat. What was that other one? She was just talking about this just hours ago. Smoke hickory, teriyaki, and... Hickory teriyaki. Thanks, Tapio. It's, it's just a bit of a strange joke, Terry. Did Yako and Elmo put you up to this? Pat. Well, somebody's having a laugh over this little prank, I'm sure. Terry, thank you so much for your time. Can't wait to see those deer fest cuckoos at the market. Wendy will be there with her beef jerky as always, and and we'll be back after this. Interesting. Very interesting. Dear Mom, as I promised, I'm writing to you now that we've settled in. We're doing great and busy as ever. The big city. Jim's working hard and landed a promotion. We're going to celebrate by going to a hot new restaurant that Connie recommended. Laura's doing well in school, and she'll have her pick of any college with the grade she's been getting. So proud of my little girl. I've been busy making our apartment into a home, training staff and shopping for furniture. Who knew finding a decent Shaylong would be so hard? All is going well. Don't worry about us. Hope all is well with you, too. Love, Megan. Aw, that's sweet. So, Wendy Davis, huh? Damn, look at this fucking... Is everything flooded? Like, this is supposed to be Washington, right? Like, Washington... Uh... Is it the state of Washington? Like, does it normally get this flooded around this area? Like, that's fucking weird. Like, who would live here? You guys know anything about a uh, Wendy Davis, guys? No? Alright. Um, again, before I go in there, where is the lunchbox? Lunchbox? Here? I you see colored stuff. There's another lunchbox. There it is. 
You can overcome adversity and achieve your goals. Seven fragments. Okay, let's do these real quick. Um, I don't want this one. I wanted this one. 18. These were some positive affirmations inside. Cute. What? Holy shit, there's a lot. Okay, nursery rhyme. Rhyme found outside the watery lighthouse. A rhyme about an old man who became a monster. Trickster doll. Uh, here. Has nice details, but gives me the creeps. Wise Elder Doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle. <clears throat> what is that, a sledgehammer? Do wise old men usually carry those? I mean, I'm sure they didn't get to be wise by not knocking down a few heads. Am I right? Mother Doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle. I mean, technically, I didn't. Holding the belly, a bit on the nose for my taste. Wait, does that mean that I didn't do it? Because I only used two of them. But why would it react to two? You know what I mean? Did I potentially have to put them in a certain order? I don't know. Okay, cult stash. Let's just do these real quick. The note inside offers incentives for getting the Anderson brothers on board. Okay, this is for later. Cult of the Tree. Reward offer for the cultists who recruits Tor and Odin. Maybe this one? Yeah. Torin Odin Anderson. The cult was really serious about recruiting Torin Odin. Fact versus fiction. Odin claims he is my grand uncle and that Tor is my grandfather. Uh, my life in watery. No? This one? Yeah, so. Connection to Torin Odin. So the story is giving me wacky relatives now. Still, there's something off about these guys. Tor and Odin have the same last name as me. Not exactly an uncommon surname, though. Tor, Odin, Freya, Saga. We all have Norse first names. Okay. I know Freya. Freya was Odin's wife. I remember that from God of War helped. I will I will be honest, but I did know that before. Um, but it helped remind me. But I don't know who Freya is in context of this story. Could be a coincidence, pretty big one. But hmm. oh, maybe Saga's mother's name is Freya. Mom never talked about her family. Anytime I ask mom about her home or family, she shut down. I have no idea who my grandparents are. Okay, I can't use that now. Alright. Let's head into... The Anderson house. Wait, did I go into this one? I don't think I did. Is there two of them? Hello, Yako. Who is this incredibly attractive martial arts master? It's me, your brother, Ilmo. I 
and I'll recognize you, but Ilma, why are you dressed like that? Deerfest is almost here, which means we're <laughs> chopping the prices on all of our custom-designed Deerfest parade floats. Floats created by the award-winning team at Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club, winners of the last year's trophy for best Deerfest float featuring an animal that is not deer. That very team and you're gonna get a kick <laughs> out of our latest float designs. <laughs> We've done it all. Deerfest floats, restaurant floats, floats shaped like things we can't show on television. <sighs> our floats are the best way to impress your friends, propose to your partner, or throw shade at an office colleague. And we don't do just Deerfest. Our floats are a perfect gift for weddings, birthdays, and bar mitzvahs, or your Gonna circuit Our folks <laughs> will punch up any special occasion. <laughs> but why take our word for it? Let's hear it from one of our many, many happy customers. I was at Deerfest last year. The flows were pretty good. One of them was a swan. And that was the people liked it. And there you have it. Award-winning boats now at reduced prices that will Knock you on your feet! <laughs> or yours today! Interesting. That's a good deer. I mean, it's a dead deer. It can't exactly misbehave. Well, I mean, it could come to life and try to eat me. In that sense, yes, it could misbehave. Much like an Evil Dead 2. An arrow. Beast Within and the Sideways Spiral. Carol Ingram, Julia Levine. These guys aren't exactly Alan Wake fans, are they? Oh, that's the same house. It's got two doors? That's so weird. Okay. This one's only got one door? Yeah. Which faces away from the front. I mean, why not? Why not? Let me check in that thing first, and then I promise we'll go finally into the Anderson house. Fuck. Probably could use some more bullets. Oh well. Reeks of booze. Murder at the Manor House, an architectural mystery by Margaret Formo. An architectural mystery. The plot chickens. Excellent puns for the comedy comedy hen in your life. Because I know you love a good pun, Ilmo. A pun book from Ilmo. Are we close in the story? That might explain some of his behavior. Criminal Justice. A Critical Look at a Broken System by R. Moreau. Interesting cover. Did I leave the Bureau in this fictional reality? Agent Anderson, our deepest console condolences for your loss. The Bureau knows it's an incredibly hard time for you. I personally can assure you we are committed to your well-being and will allow the time needed for your recovery from this tragedy. The FBI is here for you. We'll be ready to welcome you back as soon as you're ready. We could really use that insightful mind of yours. So we hope to see you back in our ranks soon. Warm regards, Supervisory Special Agent Stacy Morrow. Stacy Merrill. 
yeah so just a refresher for you guys in the rewritten reality and i say rewritten because we don't really know if that's what's rewritten logan died uh logan drowned in a lake um how long did they say like eight years ago something like that what cover is that can't really tell Inventory, huh? Nope. Can I can I not heal? Can I get out of the house and do it? No, I cannot. That's bullshit. Oh well, whatever. Addressed to me from years ago. Wake was right. The horror story is changing reality, not just people's memories. Washington Power, Saga Anderson, Six Watery Lighthouse Trailer, Parkway Unit 2. Washington Power, uh, accounts, blah, 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 amount due on or before February 22nd, 2018. No, it wasn't eight years ago. It would have been five years ago. This well, maybe she drowned beforehand. I, I don't know. This card has mom's handwriting. A little bird told me that it's your birthday. So be sure to give yourself some special tweakments. I love you, Logan. Grandma F. Grandma Freya. Yeah, it's just a window. Everything here reminds me of Logan. This Night. could be her room. Night Springs. This is getting too real. Too personal. Nordic Tales and Folklore. The Nordic Tales book Mom gave to Logan when she was little. Sana Nordland. Connie Chu, The Wildlife of the Pacific Northwest. The Kind Stranger, The Very Old House, The Ribbon Hearted Girl. Logan's Junior Agent Certificate. So cute. Junior Federal Agent. Congratulations to the Bureau's newest recruit, Logan Anderson. You have successfully completed Junior Agent Training. Date 8 15, 2018. Signature Logan Anderson. Bon. Logan used to love her music. True Colors 2018 tour. <gasps> Ooh, excuse me. My new found relatives. Cozy with the cult of the tree. And that's the clicker. In the hands of the cult, just like the page promised. Carly Vala Knights. That's the motorcycle club the Costello brothers are in. I'll take Odin and Tor up on their offer and visit their nursing home right after I find this biker workshop. Tragedy and watery local girl drowns. No. It's not true. It's just a fucking story. It's not true. Logan's back home. She's fine. Fuck. She's at school. David. No, don't leave yet. There was something else the on the board. It's coming true. Fuck. Wake said Scratch would try and hurt me with the horror story. Stop this with a clicker. Hey, this is David. Leave 
a message. David? Is Logan okay? Call me back as soon... Mulligan is a cultist? What the fuck is going on here? Alright, I'm gonna head back in there first. Take that. And there was something else here. To Logan, keep on shining, little rock star. Your proud great granddad and proud grand uncle. Night Springs, new season coming soon. Ooh, in here. up there. Looks like the wind's picking up. Well, at least there. The cult of the tree. Thornton too? God damn it. And now they're all taken? I don't know. Are, are they? Baiting me. The headline about Logan wasn't real. Don't think about it. The cult has the clicker. Get it? Fix this. That's not good. God, they're both there. Can't open this with my bare hands. Watsori swung the knife, stabbing again and again. Guess this is where There's I put the knife. Watsori butchered his victim with his puko knife. Yeah. Some creepy laughing for atmosphere. <laughs> I guess I need a mask to put on there. Which I'm gonna guess is in there.
some talk, an off-color joke of sorts about Winnie Davis of Davis Family Beef Jerky being dead, which of course is a bunch of hogwash. So I'm gonna give our dear friend Wendy a call so we can put an end to these silly rumors. And oh, it looks like we already have her on the phone line. <laughs> it's gonna be some demonic oh. voice. Hi there, Pat. Uh, that, that's, that's not Wendy. No, this is Jim Figamore. Remember, we were gonna do the announcement today. Oh, is that was that today? Listeners, we have Jim Figamore with us and the director of the Bright Falls Community Theater and... And I'm here to announce that the theater will be losing one of its most dignified thespians as I, Jim Figamore, will be running for mayor! Hey, Setter does it better. Well, that's uh, quite an announcement, Jim. Just let me find my notes here. I have some questions written down for you. The real question is what happened to this town. Bright Falls used to draw in thousands of tourists with its vibrant art scene and impressive bird feeders. And what's our reputation now? Haunted Bright Falls. Spooky Bright Falls. The world is laughing at us. And now all this business with the FBI? We need a mayor who can turn this town's reputation around. And nobody knows more about the role of mayor than I do. I played one in the theatrical production of Fiorello, to glowing reviews by Coffee World magazine. Mayor Setter is a joke. And you know what? I hear he kills cats. There. I said it. Now, Jim, this is a family show. Ah, I found my notes here, so so why don't we pivot to some questions? First question, what exactly goes into that delicious beef jerky? Uh, right, so it looks like these are my questions for Wendy Davis of Davis Family Beef Jerky. <laughs> the only jerk I care about is Mayor Setter. Our future's at stake. Pets are being murdered. And really, it's time pets? for a change. Jim Figamore for mayor. That concludes our program today. Oh, I, I actually had more Jim Figamore and Pat Maine signing off. What is going on? All right. And now the tense music is ramping back up. All right, let's go inside. Yeah, you shut up. This is the workshop from the photo with the cultists. This is where they had the clicker. If it's still here, I need to find it. I think just move. Oh, where did those assholes go? Sorry, I've been saying, but I'm actually getting a little tense. Oh, what is that? I hear that laughing. Deputies make a grave mistake. 
I would love to read that right now. Looks like there are icons here. Another stash somewhere. Really, guys? Just open three things and nothing. script hey stop right there the shape stumbled out of the dark toward deputy mulligan thornton was doubled over coughing a chunk of cold pastrami caught in his throat bring it fucker mulligan fired thornton hacked the pastrami out of his windpipe opened fire with his partner the monster fell they kept shooting the thrill of domination. This was the cult of the tree. Not one tree. A forest. Secret knowledge in a deer mask. A last line of defense. yippee Kaye, motherfucker. Bright Falls fucking finest. They crept over, pulling out their flashlights. The horror. This is Monica from the tackle shop. An innocent woman. Thornton's pastrami came back up. Alright, so I clearly missed something in here. Cause investigate the Calavella Knights workshop. So there's there's something in here that I missed. Oh, how did I miss this? There we go. Ratka Banalia Perkele. I have no idea what that means. I probably even butchered it. Lock combination. Hey Elmo, can't find the new door lock combination. Look inside the smiley coffee cup doesn't help me. Okay, let me start from the bottom. Hello, I've seen some I've seen I've seen some of you place our stashes in the open. Please don't do that, you rascals. From Yako. This is your final warning to stop taking the o OP out of the assembly hall. You want to get drunk in the workshop? Fine, but the OP is for ritual use only. You idiots are worse than my kids. Um, if I'm reading it right, which I'm pretty sure I am, OOP is from Control, the game Control, which means object of power. So there's an object of power here somewhere. An object of power, if you didn't, if you guys don't know control, it's an item that is possessed by something. And it could be something as mundane as a coffee mug or a spoon or a fucking desk. It could be a door. It could be a plane. Um, and it's possessed by something and it, it, could, it could do anything. It could teleport. It can bleed. It could scream. Anything. Interesting. From Charlie Koskela. Charlie. Hi, Uncle Omo. Hope you're well. Charlene and I still haven't received our paychecks from last month's Coffee World promo work. Are you sure you sent them? Could you double check? Maybe they slipped through the cracks. Also, Charlene wanted me to tell you that her suit still smells weird. Charlie. Float work. The Deerfest floats are eating up our space. Excuse me. Try to keep things neat and tidy around the workshop, okay? I can't find my tools. I can't even find my left hand, even though it's attached to me. 
but I will find my boot up somebody's ass if you all keep making a mess. Ilmo. Ilmo. Sauna night. Hello, fellas. I suggest we start a regular sauna night now that the old place is working again. What's the best time for it? How about a classic Saturday night session? I'll bring the sausage and mustard, but BYOB. From Fred Jones. Not everyone enjoys frying themselves to death, Elmo. And who would pick mustard over ketchup? I agree. I'm not a mustard guy. From Marvin Williams. Elmo, ignore Fred. He doesn't have what it takes. And he's wrong about ketchup, too. It's obviously chili, chili mayo or nothing. Thanks, everyone, for your valuable input. I'm assuming that means Saturday sauna night is on. Sauna is good for the body and good for the soul. You may not like it, but it likes you. And all condiments are welcome, of course. Okay, so look inside the smiley coffee cup. Which I saw across the hall. When in doubt, throttle it out. Oh, so that combination again. Okay. So, double triangles, triangles in each other, diagonal and... I don't, I don't even know how to, how to word this. Okay, so upside down. And hourglass, okay. Okay, let me see if I can remember this. Locked. Yeah, I know. They I must know. be in there. There has so to be a way to get this lock open. It was that, and it was that. There we go. This is the cult hideout. And a safe space. Their headquarters, even? There's a basement. A fuse. I can use this to get the Espresso Express working. Right, that's what we needed it for. Oh boy, there's a lot of stuff here. The light switch you found washed up on the lake is not junk. It's fucking important. Trust me on this. From now on, whenever we catch a target, we're going to cut out its heart. Stick this thing inside and flick it. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it'll be like a ritual. This is going to work. The Nightingale ritual wasn't completed. Everyone, please read. I'm not trying to play the blame game, but, can, but we cannot let Renators walk right into one of our rituals. We were stopped before we got to use the clicker. Hell, the lights weren't even set up yet. It's unacceptable. So let's look at the learnings. We need to be faster with our setups. We need to be 100% positive someone is on lookout duty. Communication, communication, communication. Slip-ups like this are why we have FBI agents snooping around, which is not great. I'm only being harsh about this because we can do because I know we can do better. The cult isn't well organized. People aren't following orders. Reed, whoever has been sabotaging Lake House equipment, stop it. If you're looking for ways to help the cult, this is not it. Unless bringing the feds down on us is what you consider helpful, in which case you can fuck right off. Stay away from the FBC. And if you see them poking around again, report it to the Grand Master. This is the cult's process. Their ritual. The ritual for Taken. Surround the target. Subdue them. Use hammer or other blunt object. Restrain them. Carve out their heart. Recite the words. Put the clicker into their chest. Flick the switch twice to make sure it works. Remember floodlights on tripods. We need to see what we're doing. Always work in pairs. I marked the map like you asked. That's all the stashes by our last count. Locked and loaded and ready to go. Oh, cool. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. This will be handy. That's it. 
so the cult is bringing these people back, the Taken, and killing them. But for what reason? Like, why summon it just to kill it? Or maybe they're not summoning it. They just, I guess, are on the lookout for when a Taken does come about. But why are they doing this ritual that's so weird? Like, why not just kill them by normal means, you know what I mean? Like, how we do it. Like, light them up and then shotgun. Or bullets. Or whatever. Okay, this is a lot to process. Um, Logan's fictional room contains her actual mementos. Uh, this would be... No. Maybe Wake can't invent wholly new ideas. Has to use what already exists. So, Cult of the Tree. Note detailing the steps of the cult ritual. Um, I guess cult goal, maybe? No. No. Oops. Where does this go? Cult goal? Sure. Cult ritual, what is it? The steps of the ritual are listed here, consistent with what we found at Nightingale's murder site. No mention of writing a cult cult's ritual steps. Keep trying. Uh writing part of the ritual. There. So this says, tattooing isn't listed as part of the ritual either, so the cult has no connection with the writing. So the cult has no connection with the writing. That's true. Writing related, but not part of the cult ritual. Story manipulating the cult. Scratch involved. Cultist note admonishing members sabotaging FPC equipment. <clears throat> I don't even know hmm. where this would go. Cult goal? No. Psychology? Yeah. Not fanatics. No sign of indoctrination. Messy group of enthusiastic, enthusiastic sociopaths? Seems our cultists are totally aligned here. Aren't totally aligned here. Don't sound like the true believer types. Cultists note about ritual being interrupted. <sighs> It doesn't go there. No. Think Saga. Oh right, it was interrupted. This confirms the ritual was interrupted. It says they didn't have time to use the clicker. Note about using the clicker in the cult ritual. Uh no. Uh this one. Yes. The cultists knew the clicker had power. They found it at the lake. Bring it, fucker. Mulligan fired. Thornton hacked the, uh, the pastrami out of his windpipe. The thrill of domination. This was the cult of the tree. Uh, psychology? No. Think. Oh, who's involved, maybe? Yeah, Mulligan and Thornton. Page describes Mulligan and Thornton as members of the cult of the tree. Photo of Tor and Odin with cultists. <sighs> Torn and Odin are clearly friendly with the Cult of the Tree. 
not conclusively members. And we have fact versus fiction. Well, we got a lot here, too. Logan's drawings found in the trailer. These drawings look like those guys I met outside, Tornodin. Yellow clipping. Yellowed clipping. Drawing of Logan Anderson, age 9. No. Logan's not dead. No, this is just a story trying to hurt me. It's not real. Logan is not dead. Poster in Logan's room for the musician Bon. That's it. Logan loves Bon. I took her to a concert in DC for her 12th birthday. This isn't fake. Logan, uh, sorry, junior FBI agent diploma, Logan Anderson. I remember this. It was take your daughter to work day. Logan was maybe eight. This happened. Children's book, Nordic Fol Tales and Folklore. Mom gave this to Logan when she was a baby. The stories are a bit scary, but she loved the pictures. This is real. Birthday card from mom to Logan. Mm -hmm. Some real things are mixed in with the fiction. Doesn't matter. It's not real. It's not. Some things are real. Things from Logan's life. Story mixes truth with lies. How? I don't recognize the card, but that's definitely mom's handwriting. Utility bill addressed to me. Be my life and watery. The bill's in my name. Dated February 22nd, 2018. Letter from Agent Morrow asking me to come back to work. In this story, I took a leave of absence from the Bureau. Book of pun jokes from Ilmo. Looks like it was a present. Were we close? And the trail of the cult, the biker garage. The photo proved the cult had the clicker. Thor and Odin were in it too. Worth following up on later. So the photo was taken at the Calavella Knights Motorcycle Club. Are they involved in the cult? More importantly, is the clicker still there? Email says the OOP should stay in the assembly hall. <clears throat> what the hell's an OOP? Is it connected to the clicker? Actually, that's true. I hadn't even considered that. That makes total fucking sense that the clicker would be an OOP. This is the same garage from the photo. That means a clicker could be here. I need to be careful. And then here. This is one weird cult. We are the cult of the tree. We watch in the night. I see it now. This is our mission. Make the woods scary again. It's a tree. A spruce tree. Keep them out, keep them safe. Together we are a forest, cult of the tree. Rose. She's that waitress from the diner. Rose Marigold observations. So March 21st, 2014. 635, leaves home in car. 46, arrives at Odier Diner, opens restaurant. Spills a cup of coffee, stares at a coffee puddle and seems suddenly delighted. Begins talking animatedly to the puddle. Observer and diner did not hear her. So 11.30 goes on break. Back from break. Ate a sandwich and wrote in a notebook. Couldn't see the text. Stares at ceiling fan for approximately 50 seconds, smiling. Leaves Oh Dear Diner on foot. Stops at pier and writes in notebook. Stares at clouds and becomes upset, shaking her head and speaking up at the sky. Not close enough to hear. Leaves pier. Arrives a car. Enters. Arrives home. Watches TV, cooks dinner, macaroni and cheese, watches TV while eating, goes to bed, reads the sudden stop, then turns off the light. So why are they watching her? Observation report. Subject. The Cult of the Tree. Summary. Intermittent surveillance of the paracriminal group known as the Cult of the Tree shows that their operation is limited to a small area of Washington state. The group is reported to be made up of dedicated individuals equipped with only common tools. 
Overall level of organization is low. Overall comprehension of redacted is low. Our assessment yielded a category orange risk status. Further inquiry should be made as to the exact details and sources of their knowledge regarding paranatural elements. Investigation unit recommends the cult of the tree be kept under permanent surveillance with preparations made for the group's arrest and seizure of assets. See file whatever for full report and recommended action. Summary and full report to be forwarded to Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont at the Cauldron Lake Research Site, as both operate in the share area. If I remember correctly, those were the guys who were doing like the whole rhyme thing, the rhyme research. Um, and we saw their cabin after the, the flood had receded. Addendum. Recommend, recommended action downgraded to continued intermittent surveillance. No arrests due to prioritization of resources. You were right. These sneaky fuckers are watching us. And our level of organization is fine. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Let's put in these last two clues here. So report on Rose Marigold. Um, who's involved, I guess. Rose is that waitress in the diner. Is she involved with the cult? Drugfield scribbles on the origin of the cult triangle symbol. So I guess there'll be cult symbols. So members are regular folk, local. Disorganized but dedicated. Symbols, attire, have no deeper meaning. Cult symbol inspired by FBC logo. Also drugs. What? Cult symbol inspired by FBC logo. Is that true? Seriously, this would be funny if they weren't killing people. How is this inspired by, F by the FBC logo? What the fuck is going on? Okay. This was a lot thrown at us in like the last like 10 minutes. Like a lot. Um, so the cult is obviously... So they're using the clicker. They have the clicker and they're using it. It doesn't seem like they're summoning the Taken, but they're trying to get rid of them. And they're trying to recruit a whole bunch of people. They're watching people. They're watching Rose. They're watching Tora and Odin. Um, Mulligan and Thornton are seem to be involved. Um... I wonder if it's going to change the story to somehow show that we're involved as well like a saga um <laughs> and i'm really curious as to why they're even interested in these people like why rose why tor and odin like rose from what they were seeing when they were observing her like she's something wrong with her maybe it has to do with the fact that these people have once been possessed by the darkness. That's probably why they're watching them to see if they kind of, um, you know, get possessed again because they're, they've been possessed once. They're probably more likely, more susceptible to be, to be possessed. That's the only thing I could think of at this point. Or it could literally just be scratch being like, you know, keep an eye on these guys because they're potential threats. I, who knows? And the FBC is a lot more involved than I thought they would be. Um, which is really interesting. I don't know how the how the the cult of the trees logo came from the FBC logo. I don't see it because it's just two triangles, right? I don't know. Regardless, uh, this episode's gone on pretty long, uh, so I'm going to stop it here. 
Um, I'm going to continue playing because um, I'm I'm hooked right now, and I want to see what the fuck's in the basement. Um, but yeah, for right now, thank you all so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.